Hi, and welcome to Link Asia. I'm Tui Vu. Pakistan's former military ruler Pervez Musharraf may be tried for treason. Musharraf returned home earlier this year after four years of self-imposed exile. He had hoped to run for prime minister. Instead, Pakistan's court said Musharraf was banned from politics and he was put under house arrest. The winner of the election, Nawaz Sharif, now says he wants Musharraf put on trial. <laughs> Back in power, Nawaz Sharif appears poised for revenge. Sharif has brought treason charges against Musharraf, the strongman who ousted him in a 1999 military coup, sent him to prison, then exile in Saudi Arabia. But many, like this Twitter user, say Sharif has much more serious problems to address, Pakistan's energy crisis and extremist threats, than vengeance against Musharraf, or Mashi for short. Nawaz Sharif, your personal vendetta isn't our problem. Load shedding is. So shut up about Musharraf already and get to work. Terrorism, Balochistan, electricity, economy. The international image of Pakistan can bloody wait. But yes, Mashi deserves the prime attention. But Sharif, well aware that he must not antagonize Pakistan's powerful military too early in his term, is not the only force pushing Musharraf's alleged past crimes into the spotlight. The Supreme Court is also putting on the pressure. Musharraf is accused of suspending the Constitution and dismissing Supreme Court judges back in 2007. Many are now back on the bench. Their agenda is personal, not in Pakistan's best interest, says this Twitter user. Musharraf, the only person who restored some respect to Pakistan, is being treated like this. These so-called judges are the destroyers of Pak. Musharraf is also facing criminal charges for the death of a rebel leader in Balochistan and disappearances of other Baluch nationalists, and a failure to provide adequate security to assassinated Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Charges that have merit, argues a former senator on Twitter. Undermining the Constitution, abducting, killing, and persecuting Baluch leaders and activists, and sacking judges are enough to prosecute Musharraf. And send a message, says this commenter on a popular Pakistani news website that democracy is here to stay, and military coups aren't welcome. This man needs to pay for his atrocities. He needs to be made an example of so that other commandos will think twice before embarking on such adventures in the future. Sharif and the High Court may relish a chance to put Musharraf on trial, but a controlling military and a country in crisis may prompt Sharif to grant Musharraf a face-saving exit into exile and allow Pakistan to move on to more pressing concerns. For Link Asia, this is Michelle Stockman. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.